What is up guys, Charles Ghost here. I'm gonna bring you another video. Last video I did the top 10 best weapons for a zombie apocalypse. This time I'm gonna do the top 10 worst weapons for a zombie apocalypse. Number 10. Number 10 is guns. I've been over this in my last video because they run out of ammo. If they're good weapons, then, then they're heavy and they take most of your body space up. Number 9. Number 9 is a nightstick because it is very small. He, it is very small chance that you're gonna kill a zombie before getting bit with a nightstick because you have to go close to it because it's small and you have to keep on hitting it. You have to hit it a bunch of times for it to absolutely die. And it is the number nine place because it's a melee weapon. It never runs out of ammo. Number eight. Number eight is a wood stick. Don't get me wrong, you can make these very sharp and long. But if it's just a regular stick, it'll take a while to kill a zombie with it. So that's why it is in the number eight place. Number seven. Number seven is a cricket bat because it is very, very flat at the place where you're going to hit the zombie and it is very heavy. But it made the number seven place because it is tall. Number six. Number six is a hockey stick because it is very, very flat where you're going to hit the zombies. But it is in the number six place because it is very tall and it is also very lightweight. Number five and top five worst weapons on this countdown. Number five is a pocket knife because it is very small. You are probably going to lose it if you drop it. And it has a very small blade in addition to it being small. Number four. Number four is a nuclear bomb. It will kill all infected, but it will kill everybody around it too. Number three and top three worst weapons on this countdown. Number three is a bone hour because... I'm not talking about a compound bow or a crossbow, a bow and arrow, because, well, the bullets, well, the arrows do get broken sometimes, and because it, it, if the string breaks, because there's only one string, and bow and arrows aren't as sturdy as crossbows or, or compound bows, but because if they get, because that string breaks, then you're practically screwed. Number two. Number two. Two is brass knuckles. I'm not talking about the brass knuckles with the claws, just regular brass knuckles. It'll take a w it will kill them, but it will take a while. And when you're punching them, soon enough it'll just it'll it's adrenaline will just kick in and bite you. But it will get to the brain soon, but it will bite you before you do. Number one and the worst weapon for a zombie apocalypse. Number one is a tie between the taser and the Molotov. It is a tie because they both suck as zombie apocalypse weapons. Let me tell you why the taser sucks first. It is good for the first 48 hours because zombies can still feel pain for when they first get bit. But after that, they're totally useless. So a taser is for practically just for someone to, to fall down from pain. And zombies don't feel pain. Now, the Molotov. Because they do die from fire, but when you first burn them, like, just like humans, they're going to be on fire just screaming. But zombies don't feel pain, so they're going to be running at you on fire. If they just, if they tackle you, you're going to be on fire too, and then you're done. What is up, guys? Trolls Ghost here. Like, subscribe, and for me, comment the top 10 weapons that you think are worse for the zombie apocalypse. Once again, this is Charles Gross saying to all your friends about this, and comment the top 10 weapons that you think are worse for the zombie apocalypse. Thanks for watching, and I'll make more videos.